welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about the skincare products and hair products which i discovered in 2020. now i'll start with the skincare now the first product that i actually got it um in december of the 2019 but i've been using it basically in 2020 and this is uh, the eight hour daily defense moisturizer spf 35 by elizabeth arden so this is my third tube and this has been basically my only moisturizer throughout the whole year day day moisturizer um i thought it was wonderful it was not oily it didn't make my uh, uh skin oily it has uh, spf and it's amazing under the foundation or just by itself i mean it's it's great moisturizer and yeah very handy that was like i think it's a kip <laughs> i've been yeah on my third uh, like uh, tube and i'll buy it again obviously um, this uh, face mist uh, by Yerak. Actually, I've been using quite a lot of Yerak products last year, and uh, I have to say it's one of the start to be one of my favorite brands. Now, this mist is amazing because I use it in so many ways. I use it as of a um, toner. I use it as of just a face mist and also like a primer. It has a collagen here and it uh, has like a plumping effect. And it has just like a kind of a semi uh, water, semi um, kind of a gel like texture. Loving it. Using it every day. Now, I finally tried the Clinique uh, Take the Day Off um, face cleanser balm and I'm loving it. I'm buying the, this is the small version because I wanted to try and I've been using it since summer. It's basically empty and yes, I'll be buying it again because I just absolutely adore it. I know for a lot of people it's like, oh my god, I've been using it for years, but I started using it all last year. So this is my pleasant discovery. Now, uh, from The Ordinary, I, I try a lot of parts from The Ordinary and last year I tried uh, this um, serum, on, uh, um, the eye serum. It has 5% uh, of coffee and solution and EGCG factor, whatever. I quite don't know what it stands for, but I assume that EG stands for epidermis growth. It's one of the main ingredients in general to have a healthy, a balanced skin. So it looks like this and it has a 5% of coffee and solution. Uh, it means that it actually brightens up your under eye area and just kind of like tightens um, your skin around your eyes. And I also use it kind of almost like cover my face here. It works for me. I'm loving it. Now, oh, the cream, the moisturizing cream that I, I'm almost obsessed with, and I don't know where I was before. I don't think they created it uh, last year, but I started using it only last year. It's by It Cosmetics, uh, Confidence in a Cream. They also have the lighter version of it, and it's like a tube. I want to try it for like closer to summer, but this one. It's fantastic. It doesn't matter what type of skin you have, it works. I use it mainly for the evening, but I also think that it's amazing if you have a dry skin for the morning under a foundation. Amazing. And uh, It Cosmetics in general, it's a brand that um, it works with the plastic surgeons and the like basically they develop uh, the creams and even makeup um, it's like it's kind of like a high-tech situation here and it has collagen it has peptides it has non-cinamides I mean the complex of the ingredients in this cream is like the whole packaging of everything you need for your skin is here. So yeah, I, I find this cream is like the cream. 
the eye cream that I loved and I've used, been using all year, literally, it's actually empty. So it will go into my empties. I realized that I've uh, emptied so many things since uh, the time when I recorded the video about my empties and it was like only maybe two months ago that I feel like I need to do another video of my empties. Yeah, it's kind of... Normally I do it like maybe twice per year but I, I feel like the time came already that I have to do again the empties because suddenly I realized I my park started to like, you know, dwindle. Now, it's also the hydro hydrogenist... Uh, eye gel what i love about it is of course that it has this um metallic uh, tip and i practically do massage in the morning and keep it like this i keep it in the refrigerator of course fantastic i'm loving it because uh it's very hydrating but it's gel uh texture and I like gel creams for the eyes especially it's so soothing and refreshing I'm using it in the morning. In the evening, I'll have on a more um, heavy texture, so to speak. This one, yeah, this one I discovered last year. Now, the hair. I have this blue uh, shampoo that I've been using, loving it. It's by Kerastase, and it's one of the famous blue shampoos. I have highlights that are on a cool tone, but pretty cool tone and uh, this keeps my uh, the brassiness of my hair perfectly i'm loving it and a little goes long way like you a little and need very little of it and it just foams up and yeah you leave it for three minutes two minutes and you have your uh cool tone uh, hair like in good condition now okay this one is magic magic uh, product it's american brand chi i suppose it's called so it's like this it's um let me read it it's a power plus vitamin hair and scalp treatment okay i neglect i've been i have had it for maybe two years or one year and a half but i started using it only last year and let me tell you my hair grew so fast when i started using it almost every second day on my scalp and like I, normally i would use it in the evening and i was just really kind of like massaged into my hair and the good thing about it that you don't really need to use it every time you like you want to wash your hair because it's not greasy it doesn't leave your hair heavy or like dirty looking it's sometimes i use it and next day i don't wash my hair and i wake up in the morning with a pretty clean hair you know and it's fantastic like there's so much better right now that i'm like but i've noticed it only after maybe using it for half a year so i do believe there are products special hair products that you have to really like give it a test and use it for a long period of time and only then maybe you will start seeing the results now the hair mask that i've been using i in general i like um moroccan oil products i'm using their shampoo and conditioner and last year i started using the hair mask i don't know i didn't i haven't been using hair mask uh, by moroccan oil i'm using the moroccan oil as well and um, this mask is really nice you know it's just a really hydrating mask leaves your hair smooth shiny and uh, the tangles if you have like problem with the tangling and i normally use it once per year once per week let's say five minutes and very often i use it as a hair conditioner i just leave for one minute on my ends very often i don't even use a separate hair conditioner and i just use this mask i, I like it so much it's it's one of my favorite masks actually now this is not exactly the skin product but i thought that uh, the perfume is sort of like a skincare product <laughs> i don't know um this is very old perfume but i recently 
um, I was actually given it as a present and I was never an Nina Ricci perfume kind of a follower and this one I think it's called uh, Nina Eau de Parfum something like this Parfum and uh, I'm so loving it I'm not exactly a fruity kind of a perfume user I like more musky sweet this one has um, the core of this is a peony caramelized apple vanilla but it leaves off the zesty scent like in a while you feel a bit of a lemony scent to it so the combination is so just invigorating you know and it's like yeah it's like fruity flowery and zesty all together wonderful combination and if you haven't tried anything like this i find it as fresh as it also a bit you know like zesty on a spicy side very interesting i'm using it all the time since i had it i don't have it for a long time by the way it's a bit of a cheat i got it like in november but i thought it was a very good discovery of the 2020 really liking it and then the last uh, uh, moment I, I just wanted to kind of get back to the video that i previously filmed about my discoveries uh, of makeup and I realized that I never featured it, uh, this nail polish as of like you've never seen it on my nails. Where I talk about this nail polish by another store is the very beautiful violet uh, nail polish. And I wanted to demonstrate it for you in this video. So it's uh, it looks like this. It has like a violet blue undertone. And in my opinion, it's this perfection of this pastel color. I'm loving it a lot this is my yeah discovery of 2020 here it is not too many because in general of uh, skincare I don't change my skincare a lot and I don't test or use a lot of products if something works for you I'll stick to it so and to have a good condition of your skin it's better not to actually pile on a lot of products and change constantly so I'm not very adventurous with the skincare products, so here it is. This is my new things that I discovered in 2020. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.